Well, the Artemis 1 rocket now set to lift off on Saturday morning after the mission was scrubbed on Monday. Now, the eventual goal of the Artemis mission to bring humans back to the moon. News 5's Captain Devin Karp is in studio tonight to talk about the connection here in the Springs to that rocket launch and future space missions. Devin. Rob, every state in the country has contributed to the Artemis project. Here in Colorado Springs, the Air Force Academy has been working for 25 years to help NASA get the Artemis rocket to lift off. I went to the Air Force Academy campus to talk with some professors and cadets who helped with the mission. Three, two, one. And liftoff of Osiris. The Artemis mission has been years in the making, and for many, it represents a new age in space exploration. What other generations had during Apollo, we get to have nowadays. This is the age of Artemis. Rocket scientists and engineers at NASA have been working tirelessly, but they can't do it all. Every state in the country has contributed something to Artemis, and Colorado has a big part to play. NASA doesn't have a lot of wind tunnels, uh, at least not down at NASA Johnson. Uh, we do. Uh, we've got wind tunnels that span the spectrum from the zero knots to Mach 6 uh, here at the Air Force Academy. The Aeronautics Department has been working with NASA for 25 years to get Artemis off the ground and into the stars. Artemis 1 is going to launch around the moon and back without a crew. Artemis 2 will try again with astronauts. And Artemis 3 will attempt to put the first woman and person of color on the moon to make a lunar base. One of the most important parts of the rocket is the Orion capsule, where the astronauts stay. The Orion capsule has to get out of the atmosphere and has to come back down through the atmosphere. And there's a lot of complex aerodynamics associated with that. And that's what our cadets and faculties have done over the years. So, But it hasn't been without its challenges. Well, I think challenges are, are good. Dr. Tom Yekout has been working with faculty and cadets on Artemis. He says being able to work on such an important project is motivating. They can make a meaningful contribution to a need, a real need, that NASA has. For these two cadets and one aspiring astronaut, it's invaluable. They even found an issue with the Orion capsule that NASA couldn't catch. The Orion system uh, showed a, a separation issue from the, uh, from the capsule. So cadets discovered that, shared the data with NASA, and, and that system is now on the Artemis system. Being able to contribute to a national, our national space program uh, is really a privilege. If you'd like to learn more about where you can watch the launch on Saturday morning, you can go online to our website at koaa.com. Alex?